In this video I'd like to talk about subdividing your geometry. If you look up here at the top you can see the point count for this model is about 24,000 polygons. Let's go ahead and switch to another piece of geometry that doesn't have any subdivision levels because this default sphere that you're working with here when you start up ZBrush for the first time actually has three subdivision levels. And we'll talk about what those are in a second. But first I'm going to go over into the tool pop-up and I'm going to select a cube 3D. And as we discussed in the prior video, we can't sculpt on this right away. We actually have to convert this to a poly mesh. So here in the tool palette, we'll click make poly mesh. And this has now been converted into a poly mesh. And now over on the right hand side, you're going to see that there's an icon that says poly frame. I'm going to click on that so that we can activate the poly frame so we can see the actual polygons of the model a bit better. So at this point, if I were to hit the keyboard shortcut Control D, we're going to divide the model. And you can see we've now added more polygons to the model and we've kind of smoothed out the edges a little bit more. Now the divide function can be found here inside the tool palette under the geometry pulldown. So we've already learned that the keyboard shortcut Control D divides our model. So you can see now here on this slider that we actually have two subdivisions now. If I were to hit Control D one more time, you can see that this number now pops up to three. And again, as we look up here at the top, we went from a smaller poly count now up to 8,000. We can actually now move up and down these poly counts, which is what makes this whole subdivision process so powerful. We can work on the low resolution model and then move to a higher poly count and sculpt in some high detail without losing the lower resolution model. So if I were to take this slider and scrub backwards here, down to subdivision one, you can see I go back to 500 polygons on my model. And then I can take this slider and easily move all the way back up to 8,000. And of course you can keep repeating this process. Depending on your system, you'll be able to push this poly count higher and higher and higher. So right now I'm at about 100,000 polygons, 500,000 polygons, about 2 million polygons. You can actually take it up to over a billion polygons inside ZBrush. And in later videos, I'm going to show you how to do that by using subtools and using your HD geometry. But for right now, I just wanted you to understand that the keyboard shortcut Control D divides your geometry, giving you more resolution to sculpt with. Shift D is your keyboard shortcut to go back down those resolution levels. And you have access here in your geometry pull down in the tool palette to slide up and down those subdivision levels. In later tutorials, it'll become much more understandable as to why we will delete our lower subdivision levels or delete our higher subdivision levels. But just be aware below this slider is where we can actually press the button to delete the subdivisions lower. So for instance, if I wanted to have a model at 2 million polygons and didn't have any subdivisions below that, I could delete lower now, now that I'm at subdivision level 7. Or if I wanted to take this down to 1, and didn't want any of the higher subdivision levels, I could click Delete Higher. And you can see now we're back to a model with no subdivision levels.